There are around one and a half million sporting facilities in Europe, helping people have fun, stay healthy and keep fit. But places like gyms, swimming pools, indoor playing courts and even outdoor playing courts consume massive amounts of energy. So researchers have been exercising their brains to find solutions. Our objective was to develop a modular, scalable platform, able to respond to four big questions, how, when, why and where energy is used inside sports facilities. To answer those questions, we have developed four independent modules designed to monitor, control and optimise the energetic consumption and to inform the managers of the real situation in different areas within the sports facility. This sports centre near Rome was used as a pilot site to test the platform. It has a network of sensors around the indoor swimming pool to monitor the energy used for lighting, heating, cooling, air quality and ventilation, and the impact for users, with some surprising discoveries. These sensors have, for instance, made us understand that there is a huge temperature variation due to the position of the swimming pool and its ventilation system. There is around 7 degrees Celsius difference between the north and the south facing sides. So in this space there is a huge variation in the thermohydrometric conditions. These optimized sensors allow us to calculate that variation in an accurate, affordable way. Data from the swimming pool and from other sports areas is then sent to a central module to be analysed and after checking complementary data like weather forecasting or planned facility usage, it can optimise energy consumption. These sensors allow us to measure the energy consumption in the gym, the swimming pool, the dressing rooms, the administration office, all the different spaces inside this sport facility. The platform has also sensors that allow us to monitor temperature and humidity in different areas. And this module, equipped with an intelligence system that receives all the data, stores it and allows us to control via a software and the web all the different parameters in the various sport environments. Researchers think that once fully developed, the platform will allow sports facilities like this one to save up to 30% of their energy bills after just five years, which is good news for sports facility owners. I'm convinced these sensors, once distributed in all the different sporting areas, will help me to optimise my energy consumption. I'll get the information I need to consume less energy when there are less people using the sport facilities, or to increase the energy use during the peak hours. Researchers also expect the system to contribute to reducing up to 30% of CO2 emissions from sports facilities.